नमस्ते आई एम ओम प्रकाश चौधरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटनरी साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट जेली एंड ए प्रोसीजर ऑफ फॉर जेली प्रिपरेशंस सो जेली इज प्रिपेयर बाय बॉइलिंग द फ्रूट्स विथ और विदाउट एडिशन ऑफ वाटर स्टेरिंग द एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड मिक्सिंग द क्लियर एक्सट्रैक्ट विथ शुगर एंड बॉइलिंग द मिक्सर टू ए स्टेज एट विच इट विल बी सेट टू ए क्लियर जेल दैज एंड दैट जेली शुड बी ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड वेल सेट बट नोट टू स्टेप एंड हैविंग ओरिजिनल फ्लेवर ऑफ द फ्रूट एंड इट शुड बी अट्रैक्टिव क्लैर एंड शुड बी केप्ट इन इट्स सेप विथ ए क्लीन कट सरफेस एंड इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ जेलीज एक्टिन इज द मोस्ट इसेंशियल कंस्टिट्यूएंट and pectin is present in the cell wall of fruits in order to get a good quality jelly fruits uh, rich in pectin but deficient in acid should be prepared so now i will discuss about procedure for jelly preparation so first step is selection of fruits so the fruits should be sufficiently ripe Um, but not over ripe and they should have good flavor and slightly under ripe fruits yields more pectin than over ripe fruits as during ripening of pectin present is decomposed into pectic acid which does not uh, form a jelly with acid and sugars and the amount of pectin extracted from the fruits depend on the degree of and uh, distinct generations and protections during the heating process so pectin requirement is a essential process for jelly preparations and usually 0.5 to 1% of pectin in the extract is sufficient to produce a good jelly and if the pectin content is in excess a firm and tough jelly is formed and it is less and the jelly is may fail to set and pectin sugars acid and water are the four essential constituent of a jelly and must be present approximately in the different compositions like pectin 1% sugar contain 60 to 65% and fruit acid contain 1% water contain 32 38 percent and however the extract proportion of the sugar depends on the pectin grade so now i will discuss about pectin grades so pectin grades grades of pectin means the weight of sugar required to set 1 gram of pectin under suitable condition to form a satisfactory jelly For example, 100 gram pectin means 100 gram of sugar is required for setting of 1 gram pectin. So, so theories of jelly formations. So jelly formation is due to the precipitation of pectin rather than its swelling, and only when the pectin, acid, sugar, and water are in a defined equilibrium, uh, the precipitation of pectin takes place. and the rate of precipitation is influenced by the following factors like concentration of pectin in the solutions and constitution of pectin hydrogen ion concentrations of the pectin solutions and concentration of sugar in solutions and temperature of the mixer and these are several theories to explain the following formation of jellies uh, first one is uh, fibril theory so in fibril theory when sugar is added to the pectin solutions uh, it is destabilizes the pectin water and equilibrium and it the it the pectin conglomerates forming the a new a, a new network Um, of fibrils through the jelly and this network of the fibrils holds the sugar solutions in the interfibril spaces and the jelly in the strength of the jelly depends on the structure of the fibrils and that constitutes an rigidity 
तो सेकेंड थ्योरी इज स्पेंसर थ्योरी इन स्पेंसर थ्योरी पैक्टीन पार्टिकल्स आर नेगेटिवली चार्ज एंड ए पैक्टीन सोल्यूशन इज मोस्ट स्टेबल इन नेचुरल पी एच रेंज एंड इंक्रीज इन एसिडिटी और एल्केनिटी एंड ऑल्सो डिक्रीज इट्स स्टेबिलिटी तो इन जेली फॉर्मेशन शुगर एक्ट एज ए प्रिसिपिटिंग एजेंट्स एंड द परजेंस ऑफ एसिड हेल्प इट तो थर्ड मेथड ऑफ जेली प्रिपरेशन इज ओल्सन थ्योरी तो इन ओल्सन थ्योरी इफ द पैक्टीन इज टेकन टू बी ए नेगेटिवली चार्ज हाइड्रोफिलिक कोलाइड द फॉलोइंग मे बी एजोम्ड फर्स्ट वन इज द शुगर एक्ट एज ए डिहाइड्रेटिंग एजेंट विच डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द इक्विलियम एग्जिस्टिंग बिटवीन वाटर एंड पैक्टीन and second one second is sugar does not dehydrate the pectin cells and but requires a time to bring about equilibrium and if the negative charge on the pectin is reduced uh, with the help of hydrogen ion concentrations uh, pectin um, precipitates and coalesces in the form of a fine network of insoluble fibers and provide that the sugar is present is is insufficient concentrations and as the system reaches equilibrium the jelly jelly strength becomes the maximum and the salts and other components which cause a change in the ultimate jelly strength of the system मे फंक्शन आई दर बाई चेंजिंग द रेट ऑफ ग्लेसन और बाई अफेक्टिंग द अल्टीमेट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द जेली और बाई द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ सो नेक्स्ट थ्योरी इज हिंटॉन्स थ्योरी सो इन हिंटॉन्स थ्योरी इज बेस्ट इज ऑन द एजम्सन दैट पैक्टीन आर कॉम्प्लेक्स मिक्सचर ऑफ वेरिएबल कंपोजिशन अकॉर्डिंग टू इट Uh, glasons of pectin is a type of coagulations in which uh, the coagulated particles from continuous network pectin like organic acid deassociates in solutions and it is only the non ionized and not uh, the ionized pectin which enters into the jelly formations so for ph of jelly the um, jelly can be controlled uh, jelly ph can be controlled either by adjusting the ph of the pectin extract or by adding the suitable buffers and in case or case the acidity of the extract is more the prepared jelly shall be stiffer and the optimum ph of the pectin solutions for best jelly setting range between 3.1 to 3.3 so next is stable determination of end point of jelly so the end point of jelly can be judged by using different methods so first method is cold plate test so in cold plate test a drop of boiling liquid from the pan is taken and placed on a plate and allowed to cool quickly if the jelly is about to set the mixture on the plate will be crinkled when pushed with a finger and the main drawback is the method is that while the drop on the plate is cooling the jelly mixture constitute to boil in the pan and there is a risk of overcooking and the product or of missing uh, missing the correct setting points so second method is setting over plate test so in this test more reliable than the plate test a small proportion of jelly is taken with a large spoon or wooden plate or cooled slightly and then allowed to drop off and if the jelly drops like syrup it requires further concentrations and falling on the drop in the form of flags or sheet indicates the end point of jelly 
and put the jelly preparations different problems are occurs in jelly making so first one is failure of jelly to set so sometimes the jellies do not set due to the different reasons like lack of acid or pectin so a jelly may be failed to set due to lack of acids or pectin in the fruit which it is made it is it may also fail to set due to insufficient cooking of the fruit resulting in inadequate uh, reactions of pectin and acids and addition of too much sugar if sugar is added in excess of the required quantity a syrup or highly softened jelly results it can be corrected by adding fresh clarified juice rich in pectin and cooking below the end point it if the cooking is stopped before the concentration of sugar reaches 65% then the jelly may be failed to set and may remain syrup and highly soft and next is cooking beyond the end point if the heating is continued beyond the end point of the jelly becomes tough due to over concentrations and this occurs when the juice is rich in both acid and pectin and enough sugar has not been added if the acids in excess the pectin breaks down and forms syrup like jelly and second is synthesis or whipping of jelly so the phenomenon of spontaneous exudation of fluid from a gel is called synthesis or whipping of jelly and it is caused by the following factor like excess of acid and the addition of excess of acid results in the breakdown of jelly structures due to hydrolysis or decomposition of pectin and to low concentrations of sugar or solution solids this causes the network of pectin to hold more liquid than it possibly can do under normal conditions so insufficient pectin uh, this results in the formation of a pectin network which is not sufficiently dense and rich enough to hold the sugar syrup and selection of premature glutation and glutation is caused due to <coughs> breakdown of pectin during pouring of jelly into containers and the jelly becomes weak and remains broken and fermented jellies usually takes place in those jellies in which synthesis has taken place so next problem in jelly is cloudy or foggy jelly so it might be due to the use of non clarified extract use of immature fruits and immature fruits contains starch which is insoluble in juice and over cooking and cooling and non room removal of spume and faulty pouring when jelly is poured from a great high height air get dried in the bubbles and form the jelly become opaque and a premature glutation is also a reason for cloudy and foggy jelly and next problem is formation of crystals so crystals in the jelly may be formed due to additions of excess sugars so in this lecture we are discuss about a jelly preparations and what is jelly and preparation methods different theories of jelly preparations and problems in jellies like failure of jellies to set uh, and synthesis or whipping of jelly and uh, cloudy or foggy jelly formations of crystals in jellies and crystals in the jellies may be formed due to addition of excess sugars and the fermented jellies fermentation usually take place in those jellies in which synthesis has taken place and foggy jellies cloudy jellies are due to use of non clarified extract use of immature fruits 
and overcooking or cooling non removable fumes